Welcome to PC Words Kids Weekly Answer Back episode number 27. Today we're doing a special answer back relating to BIOS updates. Many of you have asked me how to update your BIOS. You've got all kinds of different motherboards. I'm going to go through some examples. Always go to the motherboard website, check and see the version of your motherboard, what BIOS updates they have, what it can do for your machine. Usually if you have to upgrade to a new CPU, you want a BIOS update, so then you go ahead and download it. Download all the information, the readme text, any files, all of those files you'll have to use, put them on a floppy. That's the first method, okay? If you have an older machine that has a floppy disk, you would create a system disk that you can boot up with and put the files that you downloaded on that floppy disk, okay? So those are the general steps. Then after that, you boot up the machine with that floppy disk that has those BIOS files and information, and then you run the bat file or run the executable or the commands that the uh, readme.txt says you need to do, for example. And um, then you follow the instructions, let it run. You'll get something similar to this. Not all screens look exactly the same. It depends on the motherboard manufacturer. Um, but basically, it'll erase your BIOS information, wipe it out, the old one, and then put the new version, the new BIOS update on there. BIOS updates could have fixes, patches, um, upgrades to new menu options, uh, upgrades for support for CPU, maybe you've got power management issues, things like that, okay? That's what BIOS updates usually fix, okay? And this is an example of what um, a BIOS update is actually doing using the old-fashioned first method. Second method actually um, is using the built-in BIOS um, updater. So within the BIOS program itself, when you boot up your machine and you press delete to go into the BIOS, there's an option in there. but you need to download the BIOS file, put it on your hard drive or USB stick, and then tell it where that file is. So here I am in the BIOS, I uh, go into the BIOS update utility that's there, and then I tell it, I already downloaded the BIOS file, which ends with .rom, and I stored it in my Windows 7 drive, and I search for it here, and I select it. There it is, okay? And after I select it, it will detect and see if it matches and if it's the appropriate one, and if it is, then it will go ahead and, uh, again, erase the BIOS, and then update the BIOS with the new information, the new fixes, patches, options, upgrades, whatever, and, um, and then tell you it's done. Okay, so that's basically very similar to the first method, but with now a nicer graphical interface. After you're done, it reboots, and then you can go into Windows and check in CPU-Z, for example, and check the version right there, and you can see that I upgraded it to uh, that version. Now, the other method, which I don't really recommend you do, is the Windows Live Update type of method. So if you have an MSI board or an Asus board or whatever, a lot of these uh, manufacturers of motherboards have this Live Update feature that will go to their website, check and see what BIOS update there is available, compare it with your version, and then suggest you want to go ahead and update it, and then you can select it and say yes and let it do its thing, and then reboot your machine and it's done. Well, it might look like it's very easy, and then and it might be the method that you would want to use, but I really don't recommend it. It's usually the most trickier, and um, chances of, of things going wrong uh, are greater with this method. I like method number two. Okay, so if I had to choose, do not use uh, the Windows mode. Uh, method number two, using the built-in BIOS updater is what I recommend, or even the floppy or booting up from a USB uh, stick. Now remember, three things, back up your BIOS if you have the options to do that, Two, never power off your machine while updating it. And three, always double check and reboot. Make sure your machine is running properly. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.